and welcome to Business Profile on Lifestyles. I'm your host, Charlene Sloan. And today we have with us Dennis Wiltshire of BMA Enterprises. Welcome, Dennis. Thank you very much for letting me be here. Yeah, so tell us, what is BMA Enterprises? BMA Enterprises is a computer consulting and medical software firm. Great, and what do you guys do? Well, we do a, a wide range of things, um, from small business consulting to um, basically acting as your uh, complete IT department, uh, chief information officer, the entire uh, thing. So we'll go anywhere from computer acquisition, through training, through installation, through software support, through networking, through you know bringing in your high-speed internet, those kinds of things. So we can do pretty much everything. But one of our biggest divisions is our medical software division. Great, and it sounds really complicated and high tech. So how do you guys help doctors or hospitals um, help patients? Well, um, one of our products is uh, a product called Hospitalist Management System. And um, that is a web-based application that allows hospitalists to uh, record their charges and communicate to the primary care physician about admissions and discharges of patients. Okay, now this term hospitalist is a little bit new to me, so can you describe a little bit what, what that is about? Sure, um, hospitalist started, that, that particular specialty started about 15 to 20 years ago, and what happened was uh, primary care physicians, due to price constraints and other things, found that it wasn't uh, cost effective to round in the hospital anymore. The days of Marcus Welby, MD are, mm -hmm. are long gone, and so, um, hospitals or independent groups started forming specialty groups that actually operate in the hospital only. And so if a patient is admitted into the hospital by someone other than the primary care physician, the hospitalist will round on them during that hospital stay. Okay, great. So, so then your software will help the, the hospitalists communicate with primary care physicians? Yes. One of the things that happened early on was the fact that primary care physicians were not aware that their patients were being admitted. Mm -hmm. And being, you know, the patient would be discharged from the hospital, perhaps after a heart attack or an MI, and uh, told to see their primary care physician within a few days so that the primary care physician could make certain everything was fine. Um, unfortunately, many of the PCPs in that particular situation were rather surprised because they didn't know their patients were actually admitted to the hospital. Right, right. So one of the things that we did very early on was to provide a mechanism to communicate to the primary care physicians upon admission and discharge, indicating that those patients were in fact admitted, who the, pri uh, who the hospitalist was seeing the patient and rounding on them, and what the um, symptoms or the diagnosis was that the patient was being admitted for in case there was any pertinent information the PCP f felt they needed to convey to the hospitalist. Wow, great. So it sounds like uh, what your company is doing is really facilitating communication between the hospitalist and the primary care to make sure that the patient gets the best care possible. Absolutely, absolutely. And that way the, the primary care physician feels uh, affiliated with that hospitalist and making sure that they're still seeing the patient in, in a high quality environment. That's excellent. So where can people find out more about your company? Well, they can visit us on the web at medical.bmaenterprises.com or give us a call at 540-752-7377.